All right, hello, Tekken fans. We are back, and it's been quite a few months, but we're back with our next episode of Tekken Talk. My name is Mark Man. I'm joined here with Mr. Tasty Steve, our guest for today. So we have a lot of things to talk to you guys about. Yes. Everything involving Tekken 7 Faded Retribution, the Tekken Tour, the Tekken 7 King of Iron Fist Tournament 2016, North American Finals, the Global Finals, and lots of cool stuff in between. So, Steve, welcome to the show. Thanks, man. I'm I happy to be here. This has been a long time in the works, you know, me being on Tekken Talk, talking about Tekken with the man, the myth, Mark Man, the three M's. <laughs> Man, myth, mark, man. Hey, yo, that's a shirt. I won't have that, the profits. You get more than half. You can keep all the profits. <laughs> we'll probably sell two. <laughs> but anyways, again, thank you for coming on the show. No we have problem. a lot to talk about. So I think the first thing that we should talk about is uh, something that's really exciting for me is uh, at the Tekken 7 King of Iron Fist Tournament uh, North American Finals that's going to be happening on November the 9th. If you guys want more information on that, you can obviously check out tk7.tekken.com. There's a ton right. of information there. But Mr. Tasty Steve here, he's going to be our master of ceremonies. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to be talking to you guys. I'm going to be the voice over the loudspeaker, much like Evo, but this, this is going to be a lot more intimate. I feel like it's going to be set up to be a lot more catered to a lot of the people involved. He's going to talk to you guys. And it's, it's really going to be yeah. it's going to be a spectacle. There's gonna be, we're going to be putting on a good show. If you guys are familiar with uh, the global finals uh, for tech, and we're going to do something similarly structured to that. So okay. everything from the last chance qualifiers up until the finals day on the 9th, it's going to be some exciting stuff. And Steve will be your point man for that. Of course, we'll have an entire... Uh, cast of commentary, right, right. of commentary folks there. We're going to have a lot of the Tekken personalities right. that will joining us. Harada San will be there. It's going to be fun stuff. So let, let me ask you a few questions just because okay, we know okay. a lot of people are watching yeah. and they want to know about the Tekken 7 in the North American King of Iron Fist Tournament Finals. Now, f like you said, it is November 9th. Yes. November 9th and San Francisco. So I hope you guys do have you guys tickets ready. Now, first off, let's get into the fact that um, how many spots? Can we say how many spots are going to be available for the Tekken, for the top eight section of this tournament? For the So what are we going down to? Okay, so there's going to be 20 spots total for the, the finals. Okay. And right now, obviously, we don't know the exact number because we still have two qualifiers left. Right. We have Canada Cup, which we're at right now this weekend, and we're going to find out if someone is able to get the spot. It has to be someone from North America or from the Americas, I should say. Yeah. And we, know, we do know there are some international players here. So, so we might have an SCR situation. But uh, aside from that, we have Wizard World in Pittsburgh. And right. that's going to be happening next weekend. So that is actually the last normal qualifier right. before we have our set of LCQs. So it's either going to be 11 or 10 spots available based on what we have. Okay. Well, 11 or 10 spots. Now the last chance, the LCQ, the last possible chance to get in. Once that's said and yep. done, is there a specific bracket? to how will it be a double limb tournament. Can we talk about those kinds of things? We will talk about that right now. So on Tuesday, on the 8th of November, okay. starting at 9 a.m., that's when we're going to start the series of tournaments that can qualify you to get into the finals. Okay. So you have to win a tournament to get in. We're not going to be doing any special invites. We're not going to be taking top 10 or top 8 of the tournament. You have to win a tournament. So we're going to be running single elimination tournaments throughout the day sequentially until we fill those spots. So we'll have the first tournament. Whoever wins that tournament, they get a spot. We're going to have another tournament immediately after that. Whoever wins that, they get a spot. And we're going to keep going until we have a winner and we fill out those 20 spots. Okay. And what you mean by an SCR situation is that Punko actually won the tournament. He Correct. took first place at SCR for Tekken 7, Faded Retribution. But that spot did not go to him. Explain, sir. So because Punko is from Korea, Korea has their own set of qualifiers. Okay. And he is not able to qualify for the America spot. So... Sim similar to what happened at final round, Saint won that. He does not qualify for the North American finals or the American finals. Right. Uh, and because of that, we wanted to change the rule set a little bit differently to not not deter uh, top players internationally from going to That's these true. events. Because we want them to come to the events. Exactly. We want them to play Tekken with us. But um, we don't want them to take our hard-earned spots because the top three of the North American final will move on to the global finals oh, later wow. this year, okay, December the see? 10th. So you'll have a trip to Japan if you're able to get top three. Oh, wow. See, wow, that brings me to uh, another point. You said that uh, Saint won the first one. Correct. And um, Anakin took second. Anakin took third. Took it, third it was Saint, and then it was uh, the Xiao Yu player. I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking the about. The crazy guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you guys, we originally we gave Anakin the spot. But he did redeem himself by winning multiple tournaments on right. the Tekken Tour afterwards. So we decided everyone that's qualifying for this tournament or the finals should be a winner. Okay. And um, that's how we're going to go. And, and that, right to my next point, that makes a lot of sense. So Anakin has uh, forfeited his spot because that was one of the stipulations. Correct. You could forfeit your spot in the Tekken Tour after you win it. 
so you can attend another tournament. Just say, you know, you wanted to get more money and you felt confident. But the thing is, you had to give up that spot. Correct. And so far, Anakin is the only player to have successfully done that or to even give up their spot. Right, right, right. So, like, him doing that actually opened up spots. How Right now, how many spots are available? There are ten spots available ten right now. Ten spots available right now. Yes. So that means if you guys are even second-guessing attending one of these events. This includes my people out in the Midwest, Atlanta, Tennessee, all you guys, Chicago, of course, St. Louis, my home. You guys have had an opportunity because there's a few qualifiers. Well, one of, one of the qualifiers is from St. Louis. Shout-outs to my boy Bra. You know what it is. Um, but the tournament is open for all of those people. So Correct. anybody who can come, Lil Majin, we had a lot of people. Shin Blade coming out. You know, Mateo comes out. Yep. Like, we have a lot of people traveling who played this game. so Which is good, and I think it's been paying off. We saw recently um, at EVO a few <laughs> months back that America wasn't free. America was right. able to beat some of the top players exactly, throughout the world. Exactly. And it kind of proves that the Tekken Tour is working, and I hope it just continues to do that, and we see some strong representation from the American players or the Americas in the global final later this year. Okay, all right. So speaking of how America does against the international players, I want to take a look back to what just happened recently at SCR. So I believe we have a nice recap video. You guys might have not seen it yet, but we're going to play it for you right now, and then we'll discuss it with you guys in just a bit. So we'll be right back. California is super lax. There's so much that you can do. There's a lot of relaxing downtime kind of situations. You got scenic spots where you're sitting on the top of a hill, looking off over the water, eating food. These amazing scenic beaches that you can go to. The weather, everyone talks about the weather. So, you know, the weather's always 70, no clouds, you know, so it's a beautiful place. You can be in the Orange County or even the IE or anything like that, but it's still nice. All the places that you could want to eat from all around the world, everywhere. Weather, food, and you know, a bunch of beautiful people. This trip in SoCal couldn't have been a better time because I'm visiting from New York City. I'm mostly in the venue, but whenever I'm stepping out uh, and get to walk around a little bit, catch some of that California sun, yeah, it's a great experience. It's a very beautiful place to be around, to be in. It's, 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 it's amazing. Santa Ana, California, eSports Arena for SoCal Regionals 2016. We're getting down to the wire in the King of Iron Fist Tekken Tournament, and this is one of the last stops. So you have a lot of national competition as well as international competition. Dude, I thought this weekend's competition was actually pretty stacked. All the pools seemed like they at least had like three to four killers, so it was like definitely pretty, pretty stacked pools. Everyone knows that entering this tournament is pretty much an open spot. No, There's no Anakin, no Rip, no Derek, Kane, so no one's gonna take the spot away from us, except for maybe Punko. Oh, now, yeah. just so we're clear, if Punko wins this tournament, that, oh, yeah. is, that goes to the last chance qualifier spot. There is no spot. We're trying to defend our, you know, claim what's rightfully ours here. And it's it's tough. There's a lot of players from everywhere. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to actually be playing in it. The fact that Bandai Namco gave the United States and other regions a chance to play the game along with Japan and Korea, who all these places got it first, made it so the competition is so neck and neck that Dogura and Punko can come to a place that does not natively have the game and still have trouble in tournament, and in some cases getting knocked out. Hesitated there. Oh, down back two. And slowly bring himself back to life in this round. Life all oh, no, time, 18 seconds. Oh, no, him out of the air. 16 seconds, 15 seconds, running three. Get oh, the him, is that it? And that is gonna be it. Dogura is eliminated by L Train Locomotive from Detroit. I wouldn't say America's at the level of the Koreans or the Japanese yet, but the Tekken Tour definitely helps us. You know, especially because we don't have the game, but we're still at least keeping up comparatively. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finals day, SCR 2016. We're here for some Tekken 7. For me, sitting here, it seems like it could be anyone's game. Coin flip. Back oh. one, just before you wake up, back to sleep. Nice damage. And the super. Will it kill? I don't think so. I don't know. A lot of hits beforehand. Still gonna kiss I the think fist, it's going to be alive. Uh, oh, oh, you thought wrong. Oh, Yo, 
Oh, my God. Getting into it. Okay, wow. Rage. Struggling to seal the deal on the road, oh, the and that oh, is it. Be, it, it the with celebration. The handshake. Walls will be a factor right now. Nice while standing four. Gets up with while standing three. Is it over for our hero? Well, that's not going to cut it. And he wasted his resource there. Nice. Keep Gets it simple, two. standing two. And only Jen goes to lose this bracket. Jackie Tran moves on. 11 seconds. Yo, has oh, to that's what I'm talking about. That is how you win with Fireball. So he's building meter. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, it's not looking good here for Locke. He needs to pull it together. He's got the... Oh, oh and down for one to take it. That will eliminate Locke. Yeah. Wow. Lots of okay. damage back in the game. But this now, also puts Akuma He runs up and steps on him. Oh, oh my God. You the ball crazy. That's not the ball. Oh, oh, my God. That is ridiculous. Wow. What? Look at the... Yes. Oh, it's over. That's it. Yo, you going to hit him with the demon? It, that's it. It's game over. Hell sweep. Oh, yeah, it's game over. Very nice by Onichin. Three rounds straight. Rickstuff finally waking up here. Oh, you better believe it. And he's got one bar locked and loaded. Uh, demon flip. He's got one oh bar, God. and he that's a Leota. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God, he's still alive. That and is a perfect. That is a Leoto Machida. We're by the candles. Onichin needs to light one right now. Oh, uppercut, sidewall. Oh, messed up his oh, combo. No. This might come no, back. Oh, Perry. Oh, oh, I can't believe to go that for just a happened. Throw, and Onijin goes down to Rickster. Jab. Oh. No. He's burning all his meter for the damage. How's he going to end it? What the? Drops it. Danger. It oh, worked. Yes. Let's go. Beautiful. And the. Oh. oh, uppercut. Oh, wow, too high. Oh, nice, kids. The no demon flipping the throw. Oh, my oh, God, God, every God. jump in. Not over yet. Oh, oh wow. wow. And Just that like that. that. Nice work. It. First to three, MYK versus Jackie Tran. Veteran Tekken players. Man, this is getting crazy. The lead, it's adding up. MYK doesn't have many opportunities left. Oh, I swear Go to God, I knew it. Last opportunity for Jackie Tran. Blocks it too far to punish. Oh, that's going to hit. He's going to live. Oh, oh, MYK. Not happy about that. Oh, oh not size yet. Of up. Ten this count. measurements, making him a new tuxedo. Oh, oh no, four, four, Jackie two. Tran. Albatross again, low. Last. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Goes the into that duck kick. What a lively right now. Tran is bringing it back here. The two-round deficit means nothing. Beautiful. Nice. And Pluto looks the... really irritated. All right. Super irritated right now. Oh, wow. Teleporting out of the corner. That is so good. Oh. Okay. Sit down. Oh, no. Oh, gets the counter hit. Oh, yes, no. The oh. defense. Oh, my God. That was Let's the go. most clutch while standing no, Jackie floor Tran. I've ever seen. Okay, this also gives Tran a chance to think about what he's gonna do here. Think about what he's done. The wall? Oh, oh wow. Outstanding 4-4. Four, four. Deflated. First game, yeah. grand finals. Mm, nice work. Oh, uh -oh. No he has no though. meter. Oh, oh and punish. he blocks it, no punish. Oh, oh my punish god, no the punish. uppercut. We're leaving Punko with a sliver. Comes back to haunt him. Oh, oh no, God, another dude. situation. He definitely knew Tekken. His defense is solid. Playing against that with jump ins, with all this unfamiliarity was just super, super hard. Maybe be able to prevent it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, this is butt ugly. So, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Finish. No. And that's going to be that. Who wow. takes grand finals? You know, this Tekken tour has been crazy, man. Thank God to Anakin, I guess, right? Like, he opened up all these free spots, and Punko today, too. God damn it, but he got, he got, he opened up a spot again. Give a big shout-out and SCR 2016 Tekken 7 champion, Punko!
And with that being said, like you said, that was that sick recap done by Esteban. A great job. Gave us a great <laughs> moment in time in that SCR tournament. And as we saw there, it was first Punko, um, second uh, MYK, MYK, and then third, third Jackie, Jackie Tran. Tran. But Jackie Tran did redeem himself at the last Wizard World event. He was able to get first place. So in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Jackie Tran did end up qualifying for the national tournament. Exactly, exactly. So, hey, it's been a great tour so far. SCR obviously was a great event. And we're actually going to analyze some of the, the match videos from SCR later on in the show. But we have a few more things to go over right now. Right. So it's been a while since we've had a Tekken Talk. I think the last time we did Tekken Talk was before all the announcements at EVO. Yeah. So since then, obviously, there's been a few announcements. So Bob and Master Raven were announced at EVO. And uh, obviously, a lot of people are excited about that. I, I can confirm that the version that we're using for the national tournament for uh, King of Iron Fist tournament NA finals is going to be version D that does have Bob and Raven. Right. And, it, and a lot of things uh, have been scaled down, changed, made, you know, not as good. Akuma. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like you <laughs> said, we've had a lot of uh, things that, that have actually happened. Yeah. Character announcements. And like you just said, we will have the most updated version at the uh, North American Finals for Tekken 7. But with those announcements, they actually brought out console-specific characters that were also announced at, I believe, uh, Games. The first Asia? one was at Gamescom okay. in Germany. Uh, there was a character announcement, and then we also had one recently at Barcelona Games Week. And uh, I, th I think we should look at those videos just in Let's case people haven't just seen them yet. Just in case you haven't so seen them. There were two characters, and we're going to watch those two announcements right now. Let's go. Li Chao Lan. Excellent. Y te acabarán matando. Dude hit him with the razor Ramon. Like, yo, you need to stop before you get yourself hurt. I wish you guys could have seen Steve between the videos for both Lee and Miguel, who are announced for Tekken 7. He was going crazy. But Miguel, oozing machismo. Oh, man. He definitely has it. That apple. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's what about, sick. What about Lee's coat? Yo, that coat, that's like some it's still at first I didn't notice until just right now. That's why I got so hyped. That the unicorn is still on his back with the oh with the outfit. Oh my god. But so like Lee, it's like it's not only Lee, it's Lee and Violet as well. So maybe like a palette swap. I don't know the details. I'm sure there will be more details in the near future. I mean, we have a lot of cool stuff coming up. What do you think? Should we give them another character I think, right now? Yo, I think these guys deserve, they deserve another character. It's been a while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. Nam Cops are. Oh, oh man. No? Not yet? Okay, nothing. Sorry. Well, look, I'm trying, man. Sorry. We, we got to get Mark and his phone in two different places. But he always got two phones. That's the trick. But if we can get him by himself, you know, isolate him, bully him a little bit, he might one day. Slip a tongue and give us the character. I'm on it, guys. I'm fighting for you. You know what I'm saying? Mark is under this veil of secrecy. Not me, though. You can't keep me down. Anyways. We're going to focus back on the, the subject matter at hand. So North American Finals, uh -huh. that is the next big thing I guess a lot of Tekken fans could look forward to. But not just that. Global Finals later this year in December. So there's a few other things. So there's a lot of cool stuff that's going to be happening at North American Finals. Right, right. So if you're attending, if you already got tickets, you're good. But if... You need something to kind of convince you to go over the hump and like just go ahead and go out and do it. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff there. So if you're part of the VIP, you get this cool VIP grab bag. You get a lot of cool stuff. What? But if you're just attending, you're going to have an opportunity to get some cool Tekken merchandise oh, for the go. first time. And a lot of that stuff is uh, stuff that we haven't even shown yet. So right. there's going to be an opportunity to get some really cool stuff. I can't talk about it yet, uh, but we will be... Putting out details very soon leading up to the event. So lots of love to the entire team over at Bandai Namco oh, Entertainment. Yeah, of course. Mark, the brand manager, and the rest of the marketing and just the brand team have been doing a lot of work to doing make this event amazing. Doing a great job at that. Um, a lot of information coming out, a lot of details. The event itself is just amazing. The fact that we get here in the States to get a chance to be showcased on the stage with this game since we've kind of been growing with the game on the U.S. side at least. Yeah. I think it's really good to have that. You know, to have that stage set up for people. And who knows what's going to happen next year. You know what I mean? Like, make sure you guys come out, support. If you can't support in the way you want to, maybe you're not going to be able to be there. But maybe, just maybe, who knows? What, what's up, man? I just got a message from the Nam Cops. Okay. They said never, ever mention new characters again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're going to cut They're gonna cut us any minute now. I, I'm, I'm fighting for you guys. Okay. La Resistance. But if you guys tune into SCR's broadcast, you okay. guys probably remember that – during pool play, Steve and I had a moment where we just oh, yes. started battling. We were talking about tech and music. <sighs> Something that's near and dear to, I would say, most Tekken fans' hearts. Right, this is true. Is the music that makes Tekken as amazing as it is. So we're going to do you guys a dual double duty. Yeah. We're going to kind of review the SCR footage that we had um, from the top eight. Okay. But not only that, we're going to be implementing some of our favorite tracks. So between myself and Steve... We've picked 10 amazing Tekken music tracks. Right. And you guys will see who picked what, but throughout the course of uh, us analyzing the matches, we're going to listen to a lot of this cool stuff. So you won't hear the audio from the matches at SCR, right. but you will hear the audio from past Tekken games that we've picked. The and, music. And feel free to, to go off the rails. If, All right. if, we, if we need okay. to stop and talk about the music, okay. we will. But anyways, right now, let's go into SCR, and we'll start it off with our first track. I don't know whose track it is first. We have the guys over at 10 at the controls, and they're going right. to play some of our favorite songs. The talented gentleman of 10 helping so us out So this here. was probably, I think, the first match. It was MYK versus Congo Jarrow, right. one of the first matches. MYK already up 1-0. Oh. Oh, this is you. This is me. This is definitely me. This right. is one of the good ones. So you guys will see what track this is. If you're not, used to, if you're not familiar with this track... This, this is, is definitely a good, a good one. This is I like it. Five track. I, it's I a five You know, I couldn't pick all bangers, right? I yeah. had to pick some no, good ones here No, uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. When I was, like, picking my songs, I was like, you know what? Like, I got to let them know. Like, like mu tech and music has so many ranges that it's really good to be able to sit and listen to a soundtrack and get, like, so many different elements. So, of course, they say Mark's Choice, Poolside from Tekken 5. Man, Tekken, Tekken 5 had some bangers, yo. Mm. Oh, my God. But poolside, this was one of my favorite stages. I believe in the background of the stage, you could see Lee as well. He was just <laughs> hanging out and chilling, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, over here, like, he walks down the steps of this cove over here. But, you know, it's, like, very rare. It's, like, a split-second thing. You got to be really quick at it, you know? But, of course, this is one. Personally, this is one of my favorite tracks. This is was always my uh, my practice mode. Oh, this is your, my training Because it was room. an endless stage. And, uh, no, this was. Oh, a, no, this, this is pool side. This, is, this was a stage with walls, and it had a good amount of wall space, and this is where I usually practice my Tekken 5.0 combo. So I really like this stage. Oh, man, I just thought about something, and I want to change one of my tracks now. I'm kind of sad. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're, I'm sure we're going to hear one of your tracks pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but anyways, 
this combo was crazy. First off, I want to give a big shout-out to Congo Jack. Because up until this point, everybody swore that Gigas was so bad. Yeah. And here he is in a top eight of one of the most fiercest Tekken event tournaments. Like, one of the Tekken 2 event tournaments. Um, like, the entire time. That says a lot about the fidelity of this character. Not just that. You know, a lot of people for the longest time, they try to, you know, try to pay attention to what the internet was saying. And uh, yeah. kind of like... Oh, my God. Kind of like filing away Gigas and Chloe as like a no future kind of character, right? Right. And a lot of those people, and I'm, I'm going to say it, yeah, you didn't even touch the game. And you looked at the character and was like, oh, he's bad. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's the best character in the world. He might take a little more work, but he's definitely viable. You know, it's, he's definitely not as bad as people make out, especially when you're playing tech. And on top of that, he has a lot of tools that other characters do not have, much like Akuma. I don't even know what tracks you picked. I'm curious to hear. I know. Your I purposely, I purposely you know let's, did that. Let's go so on. first What's off, the next first track? off, what happened was Mark sent his. It was like, yo, these are my songs. And I was like, oh, he showed me his hand. You know, <laughs> you can't do that. This is like spades, man. You can't do that. So what I did was well, I sent mine. Well, maybe you think I showed my hand and I told May him to change yo, the Yo, if you one. change those tracks, we're going to fight on the camera. <laughs> if you change those, you son of a gun, I swear, man. Uh, it's going to be perfect time. The Nam cops are going to come just in time exactly. and shoot you in the forehead. <laughs> It'll be cool. Oh, uh, man. But yeah. See, that was tough. So Congo Jack had a really tough draw there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I almost picked this song, too. You didn't almost do nothing. I almost picked this This is song. out of your range. You think I can't feel this? I can't bop my head to this? You ain't bobbing your head, though. I'm feeling it. You guys this can't see good. my lower body. This is uh. good stuff. This is a good one. I know, it's, it's, you know what? Dude, this, this song is ridiculous. This reminds me of that day at GameWorks in Seattle where we were playing Tekken 6. Oh, my God. I forgot to post those photos. Oh, but man. we definitely had, like, a nice... Tekken match, Tekken six match, while we were in uh, Seattle. Yeah, and it, it was, was great. during the the Twitch party, and we were like, "Screw the party, we're gonna play." Yeah, Tekken and 6. we were just playing Tekken six. Yeah. But yeah, um, Mystical Forest is definitely one of my favorite songs of the entire Tekken series. Like, look at the like the vowel, like the the volumes of this song is so good. It goes high, it goes low, and then it goes back even. And you're fighting to this. It reminds me like it has like a CBS two feel. So it's like I'm playing, and I'm like, damn. But I'm, you're grooving too. Yeah, like you're you're playing, you're playing but you're and then. Like, you know, it's so sick. Oh, it's a good song. I like All this right. one. I know. See? You heard that. Yo, let this ride for just a little bit more. Oh, man. So I think we're going to still continue the matches and kind of analyzing. So one of the players that we're going to see coming up is Onijin. Uh, he came all the way from New York, uh, which isn't too far from here. But Onijin is actually here in Canada Cup as well, looking for another shot to qualify. Man, this is a good song. I told you, I know, man. I'm just going to be quiet. Let, let the people appreciate it a little bit. <laughs> Drop that combo. I'm going to give y'all commentary that goes with the song. Oh, nice pickup. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Nice one, okay. you know, to Oh, my God. Bro, no, no, no. Did you hear that? Bro, no, no, no. Oh, my God. This song ain't amazing, Spencer. Look at Spencer's face. He knows this. Even the other guy is like, yo, this song is legit, dude. Like, you can't. How do you not like this song? Anyways. I, could, I think I messed up. Yeah, you messed up, son. You know what? I didn't even look at any Tekken 6 tracks. Oh, you messed up, baby. Because you know one of my oh favorite Oh, my. Do you hear this? Oh my god. What is that Tekken 6 stage where you're like fighting in like a. You're like. Uh, what is that stage? Are you talking about the down building? No, it's not a building. It's uh, it's like you're at an industrial factory complex kind of thing. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't remember I don't remember the name of the stage though. But and also Electric Fountain. Yes, I, oh. I, I, that almost made my list. I, originally, I still have my list right here. Actually, I'm going to show it to you. It was. Oh, so, now you're going to show me It was head. nine songs. No, you know what? I'm going to wait till we're done. It was hard I, to pick five. I actually had nine songs, and I had to stop myself. Look at Spencer grooving over there. I didn't even know his head could do that. That, that is nuts. <laughs> the fact that he is moving his head so rhythmically, this is throwing me off. You know, they lit so many different okay, strings. Okay, you got string instruments. You may look, man. This is built into me, man. This is part of the Steve original package. Dope ass music choices, great rhythm, great taste in anime. That's that's part of the the package. <laughs> Where did anime come Yo, from? Yo, I'm just saying, in the Steve package, this comes with it. It's the music too. Oh, this is me. Oh, really? What do you feel about this? No, this is legit. Taking three. It's long. Oh. It's Jin Kazama's theme. Oh my god. That's not fair. This is, this is uh, you know, you know. to be honest, there's a few tracks in, in Tekken history that would qualify as not fair. I think this is one of them. This is definitely not fair And I think track. Moonlit Wilderness is another. Yeah, that's why we agreed. We agreed that we could not pick Moonlit Wilderness because it would not be fair. And last time we tried that, oh, my God. That hit. Okay. This is good. You know, I was about to pick Lay's song. 
I was oh, about to pick Tekken late. 2 or Tekken 3? Tekken 3. Oh, that one is good too. I'm about to take off my hat and start moving my hair. I know, around. right? You they like take off your hat. hair now. That's what keeps my hat on. It's just my long, <laughs> luscious hair under the hat. It's crazy. But I see the chat. If you guys love this song, and I know you do, let me know in the chat or let us know on Twitter. But either way, one of my favorites, man, the Tekken sound team. Oh, they man. They always bring it to, you know, a lot of people have complained. I, I remember um, when people first heard the Tekken 7 soundtrack, a lot of people were like, man, this isn't even cool. One of the things I like the most about Tekken 7 is how the music will change in the potential final round. Oh, yeah. And that really gets me going. And, that and is some cool stuff. Okay, so, like, the thing is, and, and I'm going to elaborate on it a little bit. So, you're right. Um, Tekken hasn't always had the changing soundtracks. Um, we saw games do it before. We saw, like, games like Street Fighter 3 that had the changing soundtracks. But the thing is about Tekken music is, like, the it's been so dynamic. Like, yeah. it's, it's not, like, simple, like, 8-bit chords. You know what Correct. I mean? It's, like... It sounds so orchestrated, so like full blown orchestra in the studio you know, and making this music. Tekken Three was nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, music wise is definitely ahead of its and, time. And you, you guys are gonna see a lot of my picks later. I picked a lot of Tekken Two stuff, and that stuff was from like two thousand five, right. two thousand six. Or I'm sorry, yeah. ninety five, ninety five, ninety six. Yeah. And Tekken has done a lot, especially if you look at Tag Two's. A lot of Tag Two's music, obviously, very influenced from uh, more electronic kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's the whole thing. It's like, so the the song we just heard about, like, at first, that was a Tekken 6 soundtrack. So the fact that, like, and it's so stage-specific. Like, they set such a tone with, like, the stages that they play on when they pick the music for it. It's mm -hmm. so good. So, like, you, like this song, like I said, it's, it's definitely a, a not fair song. But this is definitely, like, the motorcycle outfit gen, mm. like, stage. Like, that's exactly what you want, so, like, when it comes to setting, like, tones for characters. So I got to ask you, with Tekken Tag Tournament 2, you remember the inclusion of Tekken tunes. Yes. How did you feel about that? I thought that was actually pretty, like, I was about to drop an F-bomb, but, like, a pretty, that was such an amazing concept. Because if you can do that, or what if they, like, remix some of those songs and brought them back to where those were the transitions? It starts at the first, like, the first iteration of it, and the second one is the remix, and the third one is, like, some new, some new thing. You know, and they actually announced that. I believe it was at one of the Comic-Con events. And uh, when Harada-san was trying to explain, um, he was trying to explain Tekken tunes to me, he said, you could have all the old Tekken tracks. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. Wait, do we, I got another pick? They, they gave me two? No, this is actually Oh, this pick. is yours? I'm like, damn, okay. <laughs> but this, Wait, this build up. I'm going to let it go. It goes. Look at where it's it like, starts down oh, here. and it's like a drummer, too? It's like guys are walking in and they're starting to play instruments. It's like, what's this? Okay. <laughs> Another dude picks up the <laughs> instrument. <laughs> exactly. And everybody starts just grooving at the same time. Oh, man. I'd pay to see that. I would pay to see that. That's actually pretty ridiculous. And it's been, Guy Can I turn up this room. music? Can we turn this up just a little more? Turn I, it up. Turn it I up. want it to be loud in my ear. I want to enjoy this. Put it up in my headphones. Turn T up my Turn my headphones up. All right. I, I can't hear them shits. Turn my headphones up. <laughs> Oh, so man. yeah, the way that Harada was explaining it to me is the way to understand it, how Tekken tunes work. He said, if you like Michael Jackson songs, you could have Michael Jackson songs when you play it. And I went nuts right there. That's yeah. when the moment I was like, oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Harada-san. You're right, Harada-san. But uh, no. But honestly, I think that was one of the best features that fighting games have ever had. Mm. The no, ability I, to have your own music. I think, uh, and that's, uh, we've seen other games implement it now, and you're right. This is definitely one of the things, especially for a game like Tekken that's so generational. You can have those oh, people course. that like Tekken 1, Tekken 2 music, and it actually goes up from there. So yeah. you got like Tekken 1, Tekken 2 music, and it seems so much more classical, like standard fighting music. We're still really well composed, but really good music. And then you get to Tekken 3, and it's this, and it's like hard guitar riffs, a lot of um, like modernized music of the fight scene. And it, and it really made sense because Tekken 3 was the first. Oh, my God. This <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways. And if you guys haven't had a chance to really enjoy Tekken Tag Tournament 2, obviously it's available. You guys can play it oh on your god. on your PS3. They are going ham in the your beat right now. Also available uh, via backwards compatibility on Xbox One. So if you guys do want to have a chance to play some awesome Tekken games with music, this is sick. I dude. would recommend Tag 2. Yeah. Oh my uh, Oh my god, that, can we rewind How it? How many instruments do you have <laughs> in front of you? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god, man. Did, did you hear that peak and then the drop off? Yeah. Jesus Christ, you man. You know what? See, it's crazy cuz like you you this is probably the part that you hear like when you get to the third round or the yeah. final round. Then it, and then it does the drop off. It's like they're tired. It's like, man, we just had a crazy ass jam session. They're like, yo, you hey, want to keep it going? You, you, you want to keep show, it going? You take a break. You, you want to take a break? Yo, you know what? We've been doing pretty hard. We, I think we should double back, finish our strong. You ready? The guy's like, all right, forget it. Let me get back in here. Anyway, 
<laughs> Anyways, that oh was a, man, man, that's hard. That was a good one. Why would you do that? Like, I was feeling that song. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, this is this one. The next one is one of my picks. So I had to go a little bit more old school. No, no, this is Listen, classic this, right now. This one it kind of reminds me of the lay one where there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot there's, going this on. This one has a lot going on. So and if you guys are familiar, Michelle Chang's theme from Tekken 2. Mm-hmm. And, w- and the Wait stage. till you hear the range on this one. <laughs> Wait, it's going to kick the in stage. too. Now look, the stage of this alone fits so well with the music because you're like fighting in the bottom of a, like a cavern. And you can see like the bricks and stuff. Like you're fighting in a chasm in the middle of nowhere. So Right here, right here. What is that? That's a is dolphin. Is that a pterodactyl? That is a dolphin. It's a dolphin? In the water. Man. That's what it sounds like it's when it goes through the bowl. The a pterodactyl in the water? Oh, man. It's a dolphin in the sky. That's a majestic-ass song, though. Like, that that sound alone, that's what eagles sound like when they fly through the air right there, man. I think that's what eagles sound like when they're trying to electric wing godfish. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but, yeah. no. This know, I was trying legit. to see if we could change the theme. Like, are you familiar with the living color? Yeah. You know men on film? Oh, yeah. This was going to be Tekken... Tekken music, it was gonna be like that. Two snaps in an electric wing godfish formation. <laughs> it was gonna be sick. It was gonna be like that. Yo, but this song gets crazy. This was this was nuts. And if you can imagine, if the sound compression and if the technology was made available that is available now, can you imagine if they remastered this? Yeah, I would go. Oh, this song that. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I know Harada's gonna watch this, and he's gonna get mad. But Harada-san, can we please have an anniversary Tekken concert? I would go. Yo, I would be front row with a tuxedo on. Mm. That I, That's where I would be. I'm down. Hey, yo, this song is, yo, this is a good-ass pick right here. I can, yeah. I like this one a lot. So Michelle's was always one of my favorite. I didn't really like the character too much in Tekken 2, but I always liked fighting against her. This stage was amazing. Oh, man, this is Rixa. So Rixa, so the IDK and IDK lock means I don't know Akuma. That's what it meant. <laughs> Because, I mean, he did okay early on, but oh, then yeah. Rick said just ended up running away. And the thing is, he, um, Locke was playing a, so much of a slower game than Rickster. Rickster was all about buttons, and you saw Locke going in from time to time. But mostly, he played the kind of keep-away game. And you know that makes sense because it just shows how unsure he was in a lot of situations. And that happened a lot to a lot of people, considering that they were fighting Akuma. You yep. know, this is a new—if you're a, t- a Tekken loyalist— even coming to these events, it's still really odd fighting a character like Akuma. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people are probably wondering why we're going over the SCR matches. And I'll tell you why exactly. It's because this same weekend, we have this same situation where a foreign player is entering the tournament and you can have a chance to really eliminate the spot from uh, being a qualifier spot. Aside from that, a lot of these players that we're watching right now have a very legit chance at making it through the last chance qualifiers. I'm sure we'll see Rixta there. We might see Locke there. We're going to have a lot of these guys that have, definitely have a chance. And I wouldn't be surprised if Rixta, Locke, NYK, players like that are able to qualify for the national right, tournament right. as well. There's a lot of... Oh, okay. We're waiting on the next track. Oh, is it your, your turn? Yes. This is me. This should be me. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You were you were you were you're picking a lot of the the ones from people where games they probably didn't really enjoy the game too much. But well, I, I, I honestly I like this one a lot. Yeah. This song is uh this is really good. I almost picked this one. But this is uh It's like it's like I'm playing the piano and as I go up they just turn into like butterflies, man, that's sick. Correct me if I'm wrong, this one was only on the PS2 version of the game. I believe so. Yeah. Cause I don't think it was in the arcade. Oh my god! Did you hear that? <laughs> I thought you almost dislocated your elbow just now. <laughs> Holy crap! You were doing that conductive thing with the with the wow. All right. And then you get the guys. I can just picture a guy. Wait, Spencer, camera real quick. It's a guy conducting these guys. Do it. Let, we need to let people see. This. Spencer, know, can you give us the camera? I don't know what's happening. They talking to somebody. They'll hear us. Anyways, so I can see this song being made. Like it's so good. Put the camera on Steve. Steve is going to conduct the music right real quick. And then you get the other side. He looks like you're fencing. God, man, that is such that is so good. Oh man. You know, I think punch for punch, blow for blow, we've been picking some pretty good ones so far. <laughs> and then it just goes <laughs> a piano in a cave. He's ranking my music good, Rick Steezy. That's fine. Look, that's cool. But you, if you're lying to yourself, if this song isn't amazing, just let, let me, the, the uh, instruments on this song 
and then it goes back? Well, if you guys are tuning in right now, make sure you guys use hashtag Tech and Talk on Twitter and let us know what you think of our picks. Maybe you guys have some other tracks that you guys like. Or maybe you want to let us know that we have the worst taste in tech and music ever. Not possible. My name's Tasty Steve. That doesn't even work. All you got to do, hit me up and let me know how much you agree. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to hear. Because this is godlike. And you're lying to yourself if it's not godlike. You know, a lot that, of the tech wham, and music... Wham, wham. What is that noise? A lot of the music is what actually is that, available what is that? on iTunes. What is that noise? Wham. What, I don't what know. is that? It's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a peacock with a buzzsaw. I don't know. A <laughs> peacock with a buzzsaw. Sounds like it could be. Let's go to the next track. You had too much fun with this one. It's not even that long. It's just that good. We'll go to the next track. Next track. But anyway, it better be good, man. <laughs> I'm feeling really good right now. I don't now. know what else I picked. I kind of you forgot. don't know what you picked. Mm -mm. Oh man, there were a lot of choices. There are a lot of now. There's a lot of good music in Tekken. Like I. Oh, oh. okay. All right, this is good. So this one was uh, a very memorable one for me because Eddie Gordo, his first appearance. In Tekken, it's like I'm pretty sure you saw him in Tekken Three, and you're like, "Man, what's going on? Which character is this?" <laughs> That's my Tekken movie. He's, he's doing some crazy break dancing. <laughs> this was really my first uh, exposure to like Capoeira yeah. as well. So a I lot of people's this. first time seeing uh, Capoeira. Yeah, and just Eddie Gordo in that stage with the green everywhere. It was so iconic to me, and at that point, I was like, "You know what? I'm going to use this character," <laughs> and I did. God, everybody hated Eddie. They saw Eddie and they were like, "Forget that character." Because yeah. that's what that's the like this. If you don't think you've ever played Tekken, remember being upset about your friend only hitting the kick buttons. <laughs> Man, oh wow! And another that great match right now. Reminds me of uh, oh oh. This is yeah. This is definitely a good one. So I believe this is Jackie Chan versus Punko, or is it? Uh, we'll see. Oh, it's Pungo versus Juggernaut. Oh, so Jugger this is when Juggernaut starts playing with him. I definitely think Juggernaut had a pretty good chance here, but uh, there was a point where Pungo just started feeling himself. Oh, yeah, he started going in a little harder. Like, you realize he... You know what happened, though? Oh, I love this this part of the song. Yeah, this is sometimes... Oh, you don't hear man. this part. Because, you know, Tekken 3 matches go by so fast. Yeah. But there is definitely a... Uh, oh, my... See? <laughs> Yo, this song is sick. Now, this is a really good song, too. I Your like songs have been on point, too. Don't don't let me... You know, see, because we kind of appreciate the songs differently. We don't only play it, but this is like the stuff that we just listen to. Yeah, and we let it play in the yeah. background. So if you guys haven't done that before, it's probably pretty fun. Oh. I would suggest jumping on iTunes and buying these Tekken tracks. So are they all on iTunes? Uh, a can lot of I them get, are. Can I get like a, val uh, like a coupon or something? Because I would download all of these. Should we contact the Namcops? I think, the I think they're still mad at us. Oh, man. But yeah, um... Juggernaut definitely had a chance, um, and the, what happened in this set was the fact that Punko noticed. He was like, if I let him play Tekken, he's probably going to beat me. He's going to catch up to me, and at that point, that's when I need to be aware that I can go in as a Street Fighter player. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that makes sense. You know, and I think uh, what a lot of players need to do to beat Akuma, especially players like Punko who are more attuned to the 2D fighters, yeah. is not give him the respect and not really yeah, give him yeah. a chance to like put the implement that rush down because it's going to hurt when you get hit. Yeah, you got to go in with, like, everything. You have to go in with every game that pick? you have. Oh, you ain't help. You ain't help. Is this from Re Revolution? Yeah. I can't believe you picked a Tekken Revolution Man, song. it's too good. Dude. Oh, my God. Then it drops You out. actually played? You actually played? Yeah, dude. Man, I only played it, like, three times. Dude, this song, when I heard this song, I lost it. I was like, oh, my God. Do you like it compared to Tag 2's Barcelona stage? They're like is a is a progression. It's of it. a progression. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's it's one of those things. I felt like they put a little more in it. Talk. This song is this song is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm looking right now. So the, pretty much the entire Tekken library is available. Wow. Can I get a coupon for that? Yeah, I, I hope gotta. So. Let me. Can I get a Namcom's coupon? And then I need to put this Tekken Seven FR on there. And then if the Revolution was on, is it on there? I I don't think so. Revolution one is available in Japan though, like the actual. CD. Yeah, I think I need that. But oh, I'm, I'm listen about to, to this demo song. the Tekken 3 one right now. <laughs> oh, this one's good. This song is ridiculous. This one's good. I probably should have spent more time playing Tekken Revolution and just listening do, to the music. Do you hear this? The, it, the it gives you the music. underwater sound effect? You know the lobby music in Tag 2 when you're just waiting for a match? I love that song. Yeah, I do too. And then it pulls that. Oh my god, that's sick. They pull out the Carlos Santana. Man. This is ridiculous. Now, I was the thing about the Tekken, and you're right. This song was definitely felt like a, 
like a progression of the Barcelona stage because it was um, a console only stage anyway. And I heard this song and it has so much to it. It has more of a whine to it. Gives you more of like a very authentic feel. Like I felt like if you heard the song from that stage originally, you wouldn't get the, fit the same feel. Like this is so much more like in there. And it also reminds me of the Tekken 6, the tomato stage. That stage is ridiculous. Fiat, Fiat, Festa del Tomate. Yeah. That was a good song, the good Fiesta stage. Fiesta del Tomate. Tekken 6, man. I keep forgetting about the great music that one had. Oh, so we're looking at this match with Onijin and Rixa. So Onijin is here, and I wonder if he's refined his gameplay more. He definitely had a good chance. Unfortunately, he didn't get to go up against a lot of people because he fell short to Akuma as well. So I think Rixa's Akuma, and a lot of people might disagree with me, I think Rixa's Akuma is probably the more dangerous Akuma between him and Punko. Oh, yeah. And that's just because he's a Tekken player, and you know his Tekken player tendencies. But when Rixa played against Punko, he ended up losing oh because God. he tried to challenge him, Akuma versus Akuma at first. This song is legit. Hey, man, don't <laughs> don't gyrate those hips towards me. I'm sorry, it's man. It's dangerous. That is enticing. Mark was looking at me with some naughty eyes over here. You guys didn't see. You saw me through my gate? <laughs> like, I was over here dancing, and Mark was like, Okay, we're going to go to the next song. So All that right. was a good pick. So something from the Tekken Revolution soundtrack. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, All I right. think you'll like this one. This one's a short one. This is the one you were jamming to during our, our session. <laughs> he was... <st> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, this is good. And then they had the alternate one with Dr. B. I like the roll up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo, this song is godlike. This is not for her to drop. It's like I'm dribbling a basketball. <laughs> okay, this is cheating, man. I got hyped to this last time. This is this is a sucker punch, this dude. This is a good one. It's very short too. Yeah, dude. And just think how much like composition went into just what a two minute song, a two and a half minute song. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a lot. All right, so gets the four, four, the three. The Embu always always appreciate. I wish they'd bring those back. But anyways, looks like we have uh, Onichin actually took the first match early yeah. on, but then Rickster was able to make some. Oh, oh man. I was actually gonna pick this stage. Oh wait, yeah, this man. is me. This is this me. This is you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you forgot your pick. I forgot my you pick. You were blaming me for getting my picks. <laughs> Steve was like, "I was gonna pick this." Oh wait, it is me. <laughs> Yo, this song is. This is a Tekken Sh Four Shinjuku stage. Yeah. Right, Shinjuku stage. Damn, you got the real name on there. Oh, they, 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 uh, Steve's choice. They Hold on. Yo, switch to me real quick. When you're tired, you're like, do, do some sound effects shit while I'm... That, it takes a lot out of you, man. I'm blowing a horn. How do you expect me to do this? You ready? You ready? I just me again? Yeah. No. And then the drop up. This shit is God like. God damn it. This is good. This ain't good. This ain't amazing? It's great. This is dog. And this is from Tekken 4. And nobody okay. liked this game. And this song is, man, it's ridiculous. I don't know if you could say that on the Namco <laughs> Yeah, I was about to. <laughs> it was a great game. You know, I actually really liked it. I liked it because D4. of what it brought to the system. Yes. But, you know, commercially. Oh, man. Were you <laughs> <laughs> commercially. Are you aiming at us yet? <laughs> commercially. Anyways. Dog, this song. You know, it's funny, too, because, like, this song... When I played the game, I was like, "You heard you hear do it back you there? Hear that? Just go, doing this on the keyboard? Why this guy is man? This is ridiculous." Uh, can you imagine just Harada's in the background looking at his guys <laughs> play that music? <laughs> do it again, more like Harada is the conductor. Give me more, more what? More of the da da da. And then it comes back. Boom, dan, dum, 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 dan, dum, dum, they do that dum, thing though. They yeah, dude. <laughs> take a break. No, they like legit. They rest their fingers. They're like, all right. They limber up. Oh my god. That's
that's how the it boom and then the wine out and then the wine out and then it's done explosion. He is going nuts on this song. This is ridiculous. Man, can I get a coupon? I just want a coupon to download all this. The Tekken 4 <laughs> soundtrack is available via Namco Sounds. Make sure you guys check it out on iTunes. Oh, man. That's good stuff. All right, so let's get back to it. Oh, Jesus. I love that song. So, man, Tekken North American Finals. Um, Let's just say, let's be realistic. You might not be able to make it. Yeah. What do the people at home, what do they get to see? What kind of engagement can we expect from the, from for the people at home? So it's going to be two full days of amazing content. On the last chance qualifier day, it's going to be pretty much a whole day until we get those qualifiers. And then on Wednesday, which is the day of the finals, on twitch.tv slash check you are going to see a ton of great stuff. It's going to be a nice full production. Uh, we're working very closely with the 10 crew, the crew that you guys see put on a lot of the, the good yeah, stuff yeah. throughout the FGC. Some of the best, if not the best in the business. Get Correct. If they're not, I'm trying to tell you right now, you guys are sleeping. But if they are on the ones and twos controlling the boards for their stream, I don't see you guys getting anything less than a stellar package, even if you're not able to attend. Because let's be real, a lot of people have priorities. But it is going to be an amazing event no matter what end you're on. Whether you're in-house, whether you're at home, it's going to be a great source of competition, a nice production value. Everything about it is going to be really good. Hold on. Was that all of our songs already? Yeah, because you had a I can't believe we went song. through them all. Yo, I can give you another one real quick. No, it's, it's no? over. It's too uh -oh. late. But anyways, if you guys are watching, of course, make sure you guys tune in. We have a lot more stuff to talk about before the NA Finals. We're going to be uh, sharing more information, a lot of the cool stuff that you'll be able to get at the event. And, of course, harada is going to be there. He's going to have a special autograph session at the event. And who knows? Maybe they'll announce something cool there. I don't Who know. Knows? They never tell me. But, of course, make sure you guys tune in. And then, actually, we're running a giveaway right now. We do have this giveaway that's going to be going on until the end of this month. So you have a chance to win one of these Kotobukiya Lucky Chloe statues. And it's uh, from the Tekken Bishoujo series. It. And, actually, we brought one. So we'll, we'll show you guys on the Tekken stream oh, later man. on today. Make sure you guys check this out. There's a link that's going to pop up on the screen to show how you'll be able to enter for this. But, of course, there's multiple ways to win. Make sure you guys check it out. You have a chance to win one of these. We have three lucky winners that are going to win these, and oh, we'll be able wow. to ship them out uh, early November for you guys. So. And uh, Bishoju doing a really good job. Has done a, a lot of the Tekken characters, as well as other characters, but they're yep. all really sick characters. I actually have the Alyssa one at home. So. Oh, nice. But either way, I want to thank you, Steve, for coming on. Oh, I no know, problem, unfortunately, man. we didn't have a lot of cool stuff to announce, but I will tell you, we are going to announce that there's a lot of cool stuff that's going to be on the way. Oh, wait, Rick Steezy gave us his. Number one, tag two, Ogre. Tekken three, Jin for the second one. Oh, psh, get out of here, dude. Oh, he picked your song as number one. Nah, man. I didn't know you guys were close like that. But, again, <laughs> hey, aside from that, aside from the NA final stuff, myself and Spooky will be in Japan next weekend, and we're going to be live from the Tekken Osaka West qualifiers for the Japan Japanese tournament. And then the East qualifiers in later in November, it's going to be me, Tasty Steve, and Rip. So we'll be doing uh, English streams from each one of those events. And, of course, the global finals. I'll be there. Steve will be there as well. And Lord Eris uh, in December, on December 10th. So make sure you guys stay tuned. There's a ton of Tekken stuff throughout the rest of the year. And, of course, lots of love to the Tekken project team. Harada Michael Murray, uh, everyone that's probably watching at home. And uh, let me just say, first off, thanks for having me on, Mark, man. I do appreciate it. Big bro here always looking out. Um, and, yes, Major shout-outs to Bandai Namco, the entire Tekken team. Guys doing a great job. Uh, please keep it up. Game is slated to come out early next year for all major consoles. That includes PS4, Xbox One, Steam, slash PC. You guys can't get the game on. And like you said, make sure you guys tune in to the – first off, we still have an event coming up next weekend. And then we're still going to have Wizard World. And that's not including today's broadcast, which will be going live at 7 today or 6. No, we're actually going live in about – Five minutes. So oh, wow. we're gonna switch over. Up. Yeah, we're gonna switch over. Uh, give us some time in between, but we're gonna switch over to the other side of the stream. We're gonna start pool play. We're gonna get up to the top eight today. But once we get to the top eight, we'll be back on Sunday, where you guys can watch the finals. It'll be on twitchtv slash Canada Cup Gaming, I believe. But either way, that's it for Tech and Talk this time. We're gonna have another one. We're gonna try to do this every month, but hopefully the next one will be sometime in November when we have everyone together, and it'll be fun. Thanks but for having me. We'll be back. Just stay tuned. We're going to have some Tekken pool play from Canada Cup in just a bit.